recurring payments and subscription businesses, like this is not a strange concept to us, to anybody who's new to the Web3 world, something that everybody's familiar with. But in Web3, are there other problems that we face or other things we need to consider when it comes to recurring payments and subscriptions? Yeah, I think the opportunity is so much bigger than just auto pay because of the interoperability and composability of Web3. So, for example, something that you could use a recurring payment for is, let's say, the dollar cost average into an asset, right? Right now, if you want to swap for tokens on Uniswap, you have to go every single month or week, click a button, trade your USDC for ETH. With AutoPay, you could you know, set up that automatic purchase, so dollar cost average, but you could also set up sort of the next step, which could be staking that, right, and earning some yield or moving it into a different, you know, DeFi opportunity. And that kind of like programmable functionality doesn't exist in Web2 because systems don't talk to each other. And uh, to us, like what we're most excited about, this is the base layer. This is just infrastructure. It's all the other things that you can build on top of an automatic payment.